Have you found any evidence and of your food in the sites? Uh, yeah, we have found a little bit of bone. Um, obviously, we're going to find white bark pine nuts everywhere, you know, so we kind of tuned them out. Um, but we did find bone, sheep sized bone, and one piece of bison sized bone. Uh, this kind of soil is not really good for bone preservation, a little too acidic, but the uh, definitely sheep, sheep bone, the one bison bone, and uh, um, some of that was burned. But that, that's the only food evidence that we found. Uh, in another lodge that we will be going to, we found what appears to have been a bag of stone tools that was a leather bag that was filled with ochre and stone tools because we had the outline of it in the ground when we excavated. That was, got that on tape too. Did you find any uh, monos or matates with oil that you could identify? Um, Chris Morgan may have recovered one or two of them. We found over 60 monos and matates here. It's interesting, there are over 60 lodges here. There are over 60 monos at this site. There's basically one mono per lodge. Um, and Chris, if I remember correctly, excavated a lodge that had a couple of buried monos that went straight into foil and can be analyzed. The results haven't been done yet. But I will suspect that they will test positive for uh, vegetable oils and animal fats, you know, the predictable stuff.